What happens to your license when you get a DUI? Hi, my name is Ryan Canoni. I'm an attorney with the Tahlequah office here in Cherokee County. And a question I get sometimes is what about my license? Uh, I got charged with a DUI, what about my license? Well, now sometimes officers will go ahead and take a license and give you a temporary one. Uh, but the kind of the, the law around this is if you're under 21, and you refuse a blood or breath test, or if you have any measurable quantity of alcohol, any at all, uh, through, from one of those tests, then your license is gonna be revoked. If you are over 21 and you refuse the blood or breath test, uh, or if you're 0.08 or above, your license is gonna be revoked. Now for a first time offense, your license is revoked six months. Uh, for a second, I believe it's a year, and then it goes up to uh, three years for a third one. Now, when your license is revoked, let's say you wait out that year, it doesn't automatically get reinstated. You're going to have to, A, go back and get a new license. You're going to have to show that you complied with everything you were supposed to. There's a lot of requirements when your license is revoked for a DUI. Uh, there's always some type of litigation going on. Uh, here recently, there was a court decision uh, a couple firms out of Tulsa got about the, uh, the breathalyzer machine. They uh, are pretty well known for, for tackling those type of issues. And they, uh, they've, they at this point, I think, got the breathalyzer that was being used at one point in time, the results thrown out. I think that's up on appeal. Uh, but there's always some type of litigation going on on DUI breathalyzers and, and how all that works. So if you have questions about this, then please give us a call. Uh, go to TahlequahAttorney.com, send us a web form. We can talk to you about your case, see if we can help. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do when you're uh, in these cases, but you need to act fast. So in most situations, you have about 30 days to request uh, a hearing to try to keep your license from being revoked. Uh, there, there are some situations where you get a little more time and without going into specifics, it, it depends on uh, it, what type of test you did, when you get the notice, different things like that. But just as, you know, a general rule, you're going to want to talk to an attorney as soon as possible. Uh, and also make sure when you talk to an uh, attorney uh, to ask if they're just representing you on the criminal, but also the revocation aspect with the Department of Public Safety, DPS. Uh, DPS hearings are a civil matter, they're not criminal. So sometimes they're included with a DUI retainer fee, sometimes they're not. So that's a, a question you really need to talk to your attorney about. And uh, like I said, you need to give them a call as soon as possible. If you find yourself in this situation, I've already kind of told you how to get a hold of us, feel free to give us a call or an email and we will see what we can do and see if we can help. Thank you.